A Florida teenager dead after Miami Beach police tasered him. And today, friends and family are still trying to figure out why. Israel Hernandez was running away from police at the time, but what was he doing that caused them to start chasing him? He was spray painting graffiti. A lot of questions over why the officers had to use a taser on him. Two of Hernandez's friends say they saw what happened. There, I seen my friend lay down on the floor and they were just high-fiving each other and laughing. It's brutal. That's just brutal. He's a kid about my size and there was about 30 cops on him. Police say Hernandez was disregarding police orders when they used the taser. So far, the medical examiner has not given and ruled cause of death. We don't know whether the teen had any underlying health condition that would explain how he died. You know, it seems like every few months we get a story like this, taser turned deadly. Let's uh, go back to the legal dream team, joined by HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks. All right, Mike, let's talk. We, we talk about this, you know, every few months something like this happens. Um, when, when do you use the taser? Well, first of all, let me just correct that one person we just heard. There weren't 30 cops even working in a whole city, probably, you know, in a whole southern Florida that night. Five o'clock in the morning. And first of all, you know, you say he's a graffiti artist. Well, you know, it's unfortunate that he did die, Vinny. But if you're going to use a building as your canvas, you are a vandal. I'm sorry. And police went up to him. They and then he took off. He ran. Why did he run? Why did he run? Right. So what is, what is the, the the general procedures for when it's appropriate? to use the taser. Well, you've got, it, this is, it was a taser, just like this, uh, very similar. This is inert, uh, it's a taser X26, uh, and it was a dart shot, because you can either use darts or drive stun. But, law now, enforcement, officers, again, Mike, law enforcement officers have a number of tools that they can use. This is the taser uh, X26 in an er, inert model. But you've got, you've got a taser, you've got pepper spray, you have a police uh, a collapsible baton, and you've got your gun. Now, you see the taser here. It's considered less than lethal, but all those, pepper spray, a baton, and this, and the taser, can be lethal under cer certain circumstances. Now, there have never been any cases that the taser has been, has, that's been attributable to people actually dying from the use of taser. Now, it's been contributing where people have fallen from heights, that kind of thing, right. after being tased. But we have to wait and see, was there anything on board, drug-wise, on this person? Uh, did he have any pre-existing condition? Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold uh, on. Just wait a minute. Did, was, did, was there anything on board? We have to wait for the autopsy to see what the cause of death was, Mr. Kavanoke. Right, okay, but look, ultimately, ultimately it comes down to did law enforcement officers act reasonably. I get that. But, Mike, and I can say this because I'm in L.A. and you can't tase me from there. <laughs> but as you're talking, I'm thinking of that phrase, Mike, that to a child with a hammer, the whole world looks like a nail. And to law enforcement analyst Mike child? Brooks, if you, he, well, look, okay, he's 18 oh, he's years old. he's just a child. He's out there, he's, He's look, a vandal. Mike, it's graffiti. He's a Why graffiti run? artist. Why did, what did he run? Let the artist. You don't run, there, the police aren't going to chase you. There's a sense of proportionality. It, it comes I down. get that. Okay, and I if you're that, resisting, okay, now, you know what, though? Everybody dead. would be, be crying, oh, they beat him up with a baton. Oh, they pepper sprayed him. Let me tell you something. Departments that employ tasers, the complaints by citizens against police, they go way, way down, and also the, num the injuries to law enforcement officers go down because but. it's a good source to, to, to restrain someone. But the issue if then it becomes... Using a gun. Is it, Joe, we go. The issue then becomes, was any force appropriate under these circumstances? Now, police have a very difficult job. We respect them. We, we are sure. so grateful that they protect our neighborhoods. At the same time, if someone's drafting graffiti or they're doing whatever they do as an 18-year-old, to what extent is any force, whether it be a baton, whether it be pepper spray, a child runs. That's the natural inclination. Darren, I know you child, weren't an angel when you were a kid. I wasn't an angel oh. either. And as a result <laughs> of that, you do certain things. I don't think it warrants death. 18 years old is not a child. You're legally right. an adult. A young adult. So it was oh, there you go.